Director of Operations and Processes, and I'm here to give you greetings on behalf of Mr. Uh, Mr. Michael Cummings, excuse me. Our superintendent, unfortunately, was not able to join us tonight, but he does send his warmest congratulations to all of our recipients. We're going to start initially with the superintendent awards, followed by the CAVE awards. Our students will come up with their, the staff member, whether it be our principals, head principals, or teachers who are recognizing them, and then we'll allow parents to come up and take pictures. Students, as you're recognized, you can feel free to shake hands, fist bump, or whatever you feel comfortable with. We'll go ahead and get started. Tonight, we recognize the Superintendent Award winners. The Superintendent Award is based on community service, service to others, academic prowess, leadership service, and the school community. One student is selected from each elementary school, each middle school, and one student is selected from each house at each of our high schools. Let us begin with our first awardee from Burr Elementary School. We are so, we are so proud to have Fiona Harbigan as Burr Superintendent, Superintendent's Award winner for 2022. Fiona is a terrific student and an incredibly hard worker. She has demonstrated a tremendous amount of leadership both at Burr and in the community. This past year, she was a kindergarten bus helper, carefully making sure that Burr's kindergarten students got to their bus on time at dismissal. She has also been a member of Burr Student Council, helping to facilitate many improvement projects throughout our school. Fiona does a lot of volunteer and community service work in Fairfield too, including supporting students with autism. Whether it involves making special materials at her mom's workplace or helping support students in Burr's CLC program, Fiona is a kind and patient face, face always ready to help. Fiona also helped organize a neighborhood food drive and spring cleanup at the lake, further demonstrating what it means to give back to others. Congratulations, Fiona, we are so proud of you. And now we'll have Dwight Elementary School. We're so proud that we have Nora Smith as our Superintendent's Award winner. Um, Nora shows genuine kindness is a self-directed learner and a selfless student. As a Girl Scout for the last five years, she volunteers to help others in the community. Her academic achievement comes from her patience and ability to advocate for herself. Whether she is working inside the classroom or playing on a sports field, Nora is a quiet leader and a hard worker. Outside of school, she plays tennis, soccer, lacrosse and loves to ski. All of her life experiences contributed to her well-rounded character. Nora is a natural leader among her peers, which is evident in her nomination by her fifth grade class to be part of the student council at Dwight. Nora plays on a premier travel soccer team with sixth graders. Despite being the youngest player on the team, her teammates voted her captain. Nora is a role model in our community, sharing her honesty, patience, and care with everyone. We are lucky to work with Nora at Dwight. Thank <laughs> you. 
Up next, Holland Hill Elementary School. Holland Hill is very proud of Kira Chipetta. She is an exemplary student who's been a member of the Math Academy for grades four and five. A member of our safety patrol, Kira is diligent and responsible in her efforts to escort our kindergarten students to their buses every day. She has built strong relationships with so many people at Holland Hill, and I'm sure she will miss all of her friends next year that she's been taking care of. Kira's kindness and leadership towards our younger students in her care is truly outstanding. Additionally, she's been a consistent participant in all community service and fundraising activities in her six years at Holland Hill. Kira has been instrumental in helping her team find success in several class debates throughout the year. Her amazing work ethic and drive are apparent in all that she does. She also created a powerful public service announcement earlier in the year to motivate students to combat climate change. Her work was very inspiring and taught students what they can do to make a difference to help our earth. She's a role model because of her optimism, her caring attitude towards her peers and teachers, and her dedication in all academic areas. We expect great things from you, Kira. So proud of you. I think it's this one, right? This one? Hi, I'm Tony Bolo, proud principal of Jennings, and I have with me Lisa Lewin, one of the homeroom teachers, and we are so proud to have Julia Sparetta represent our school tonight. So Julia is an exemplary representative of Jennings fifth grade. She's a gifted student, talented artist, and musician. She was just saying she sang at Carnegie Hall a couple days ago, and a compassionate friend to all. Julia it has contributed to the school community as a member of the school orchestra. She volunteers as a kindergarten class in kindergarten class weekly. She assists others, peers in need on a regular basis. She's insightful beyond her years and has the capability to bring out the best in her peers within her class. Encouraging demeanor is what we all know about Julia. When Julia is not at school, she participates in a science enrichment program sings with the FCCC Children's Choir, takes piano lessons, and plays on the FUSA Soccer League. Julia is a very humble representative, which was exemplified when learning of this award. Her response to me was, wow, there are so many others that do wonderful things, why me? Julia makes a difference every day and is a great role model for all. We are honored to have Julia represent Jennings and our community. Congratulations. <laughs> And now we'll have McKinley Elementary up next. Good evening, I'm Teresa Jean Gray, Principal of McKinley Elementary School. Each year in fifth grade, the Superintendent Award goes to a student who works hard academically, always putting forth their best effort and demonstrating the importance of learning who practices our core values each day and sets a good example for peers in the McKinley community. 
who is active in organizations, both in school and outside of school. It is a pleasure that McKinley presents to you our Superintendent Award recipient, Sophie Denniston. Sophie has exemplified the qualifications for this award during her time at McKinley. Sophie is just an acronym, sincerity, optimism, patience, hardworking, imaginative, and earnest. Sophie is a distinguished member of the McKinley community, exemplifying our school core values each and every day. Her commitment to her learning shines bright in everything she does, and she always goes above and beyond. Sophie leads by example. Her daily actions are not to seek limelight, but still draw the attention of others. Sophie's consistency in being a great friend, classmate, and student has her at the very top of the fifth grade class. Sophie excels academically because she's driven to be the best version of herself. When faced with a challenge, she's not afraid of error, but welcomes it as a part of her learning. McKinley is honored to have taken part in helping Sophie become the outstanding young lady she is today. We know she will continue to make McKinley proud in whatever she pursues. Congratulations. Our honoree from Mill Hill is at another engagement, so we will recognize that student a little bit later in the program. So now we'll ask the team from North Stratfield Elementary School to please come to the podium. Good evening. My name is Bob Gillen. I'm a fifth grade teacher at North Stratfield School, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Ray Baxter. Uh, Ray is a role model at NSS and is always willing to help anyone. She is thoughtful, inquisitive, and hardworking as shown by her leadership during the fifth grade book clubs this year. Ray tutors first grade students in math twice a week in school. She's, she's the winner of NSS's invention convention with the invention, the book nook. Uh, Ray is a Girl Scout and participates in all of their activities and efforts. She is a dedicated and hardworking athlete who cares about her teammates. Ray loves soccer, basketball, and lacrosse. Her interests in the arts include music, art, and she plays the violin and the flute. Uh, her love of art has led her to, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, her love of art led her to form the fourth grade Zoom drawing club during the, on, the online learning time. Ray takes any art class offered as part of the NSS after school enrichment clubs. She, she had, and her classmates, uh, her and her classmate won the NSS yearbook cover contest, and their artwork will grace the cover of the 2021-2022 NSS yearbook. Ray was chosen as the uh, member of the white table ceremony that was performed at this year's Veterans Day Assembly. Ray hopes to become an astronaut or a baker when she grows up. Ladies and gentlemen, Ray ba Ray. Up next, we have Osborne Hill Elementary School. Good evening, my name is David Husbeth, principal of Osborne Hill School. I'm here with Ms. Celia Edwards, our fifth grade teacher, and we are proud to present Shayla Denton as Osborne Hill's Superintendent Award recipient. Shayla aptly states that she lives her life according to Carol McLeod's book, have you filled a bucket today? This book describes how everyone has an invisible bucket 
that holds your good thoughts and feelings. Shayla has taken it upon herself to fill the buckets of those around her in all aspects of her life. Whether working hard in her academics at school, spending time with elderly neighbors, writing poetry and notes for her kind mail carrier, or being a good teammate on the soccer field and basketball court, Shayla approaches others in search of ways to make them feel special and appreciated. She believes, and I quote, it's important to make sure people always have something to smile, good people always have something to smile about. And she embodies that, this belief daily. Although we will miss her at Osborne Hill, we know she will continue to fill buckets and spread smiles at Fairfield Woods Middle School and beyond. And now we'll have the Riverfield team come up and present their award. But they did put it in bigger font for me. That's good. Phew. Scared me. Good evening. My name is Brenda Anziano, and I am the uh, proud principal of Riverfield Elementary School. And I am proud to um, present Ella Myers for our superintendent award winner, as our winner. Ella Myers was unanimously selected as the superintendent award winner by the entire staff of Riverfield. She is a good friend to everyone she meets. Many of her activities support her desire to interact with others. Ella's family members are also committing to helping others. They provide Thanksgiving dinners and Christmas gifts to needy families in coordination with Al's Angels. My mother is always looking for ways that we can help others, Ella said. Her family is currently looking for ways to support the Ukraine during this difficult time. Ella adores, with the uppercase letters, her younger brother, Charlie, and considers him one of her best friends. When I spoke to her brother about Ella, he stated the same about her. They share a special relationship and even do a secret handshake every day before school starts. Ella participated this year in the Letters of Literature this spring, which is a very prestigious um, event that takes place with Fairfield University, and she was a statewide winner. She is also an active student council member and was instrumental in supporting our Kindness Month this past March. And this weekend, in sat on Saturday evening, she also, she also performed with the Fairfield County Children's Choir. So congratulations, Ella. And now we'll have our team from Roger Sherman Elementary School come up. Good evening. I'm Kathy Garasimowitz. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Roger Sherman School. I'm here tonight with Dr. Banner, our principal from Roger Sherman, and Aristi Torres, another fifth grade teacher from Roger Sherman School. Lulu Joyce, Sherman's nominee for the 2022 Superintendent's Award, is one who continuously shows compassion toward others, grit in the face of challenges, and is relentless in seeking excellence. Lulu personifies everything you look for in a student. Academically, you'll be hard pressed to find someone who works harder. She takes a great deal of pride in her, in her work. 
She aims to please and will do anything that is asked of her, always striving to go above and beyond. Socially, Lulu is one of the most polite, energetic, and respectful students you'll ever encounter. Her peers know her to be someone they can rely on and enjoy being with. She finds something positive in everyone, all the time. Following her example helps to bring out the best in those around her. She is a true role model. Lulu embodies all that we hope for in our students. Best of all, she does all of this not for the recognition, but rather because it's the kind of person she is. The Roger Sherman community could not be more proud of Lulu Joyce as the recipient of the 2022 Superintendent Award. And now we'll have the team from Stratfield Elementary School come up. Good evening, my name is Liz McGoey. I am honored uh, to be here from actually Stratfield School and I'm here with Hannah Dyke, one of Emma's fifth grade teachers and I'm honored to present Emma Feeney as Superintendent Award winner for this year. I'm also usually happy most of the time. Don't ask me why, I just like to try to always be happy. I'm also very kind to people who are kind back to me. I don't like to be mean. That's me, Emma Feeney. These are a few words Emma has recently used to describe herself and we couldn't have said it better. Emma is a diligent worker who strives to do her best in everything. This is evident in her daily life at Stratfield Elementary School and everything she does outside of school as well. She has a positive attitude and is a quiet leader. Emma's smile is contagious. See? In addition to daily academics, Emma is quite involved in other school, in school activities. Here at Stratfield, she enjoys, she brings joy to the cl kindergarten class as she helps them prepare for dismissal. They look forward to seeing her every day. She spends her Tuesday mornings behind the counter of the Stratfield School store. She does a wonderful job guiding first grade students through the process of picking out and purchasing available items. She's also been an active part member of our Stratfield Orchestra for two years, improving her viola skills each week. Emma keeps busy outside of school as well. Theater is an interest of Emma's. She is a member of the Octagon Performance Group, a nonprofit performing arts organization. Here, Emma has had the opportunity to play a role in plays like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and The Lion King. At home, Emma is always willing to help her two younger sisters and her parents whenever necessary. As you can see, Emma is a positive role model in all aspects of her life. Therefore, she is the perfect recipient for this year's Superintendent Award. Now we will have Ms. Bannock and the team from Fairfoot Woods Middle School come up. Good evening, I'm the very proud principal of Fairfield Woods Middle School, Colleen Bannock, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you this evening, Ella Judas, our 2022 Superintendent Award winner from Fairfield Woods. Ella is a natural choice for this year's Superintendent's Award winner from FWMS. She is a dedicated and passionate student 
whose mature approach to life helps her stand out within our school and the larger Fairfield community. Her leadership is evident in her volunteer work at the Pilot House Farm through the National Charity League, where she serves as a lesson helper to differently abled students. Ella is passionate about art, engaging in both 2D and 3D art classes at Woods. She's also an athlete who enjoys volleyball both in and out of school. Ella possesses a high level of musical talent, which is on display in her participation in both the FWMS Orchestra and Chamber Orchestra, as well as the Fairfield County Children's Choir outside of school. With this county level, level group, she has performed at both Lincoln Center and Carnegie Hall, and will be a part of their DC tour this summer. Ella is an exceptional student, performer, and person who is more than deserving of this unique honor. I proudly present to you, Ella Judas. Up next, we have the team from Roger Ludlow Middle School. Oh, they did give it to me in extra big font. What a bonus. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Meg Tiley, and on behalf of Kate Harder uh, and myself, we'd like to welcome you to Roger Ludlow Middle School. The faculty and staff at Roger Ludlow Middle School have proudly selected Tegan Weber as the 2022 eighth grade superintendent recognition award recipient. Tegan is a model student, has a passion and commitment for academic success, community service, and leadership. She faces challenges head on and has, the, has a thirst for knowledge and new experiences. Tegan has also been a devout Girl Scout since the first grade. She is a bronze medal recipient and well on her way to a silver medal status following her development, town approval, and installation of a dogway station with a fellow scout at the walking trail entrance on Old Dam Road. Her service, service project list extends, extends past Girl Scouts through her church, helping neighbors and our school community. At RLMS, Tegan demonstrates her strong leadership skills, by teaching our student assistance team character education program to younger students, being a talented member of our chamber orchestra and an integral member of our mural and tech committees. Her maturity and independence far exceed her age. We are so proud of you, Tegan, and we wish you all the luck in your future endeavors. Good evening, I'm Anthony Fermato, the principal of Tomlinson Middle School, and I'm joined by Ms. Kate Brown, she's our school counselor for eighth grade, and our assistant principal, Ms. Jody Sachs. And we are here in support of Anshika Sinna's Superintendent Award winner of the evening. She is fantastic. Um, Anshika is a role model at Tomlinson Middle School. Throughout her three years, Anshika has been an exemplary uh, student her accomplishments truly show her commitment to academics and her leadership. Her passion for music is a driving force in being a responsible, disciplined, and resilient student. She is a member of our a cappella group, our Tomlinson Singers, Chamber Orchestra, and was chosen to represent TMS in the Middle School Honors Orchestra. 
and Shika has flourished as a writer with achieve achievements such as being recognized in the Connecticut Women's History Month essay contest, winning this year's Fairfield Public Library One Book, One Town Writing Contest, and being published in the Young Writers Short Story Anthology. And Shika is also a member of the Odyssey of the Mind team who will be competing at the world competition tomorrow in Iowa. Outside of school, Anshika has learned Hindu, joined a scout troop, and continues to take kung fu classes, of which she currently has her junior black belt. Watch out. Her outstanding accomplishments and positive influence have made her an undeniable uh, leader at Tomlinson, and her impact will be felt for many years to come. Congratulations, Anshika. And now our team from Mill Hill Elementary School will come up and present the award to their winner. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me, and thank you for <laughs> waiting. Christopher just is fresh off of his concert and his duet, uh, which he did a wonderful job at, of course. So we are here to honor Christopher Dixon, and we are so proud to recognize him th as this year's Superintendent Student Recognition Award recipient. Christopher's commitment to education and strength of character have been evident throughout his time at Mill Hill. He exhibits our tenets of safety organization, achievement, and respect every day. Responsible and thoughtful, Christopher is a role model for his peers. Chris is independent and organized with, all his, own, with his own work and volunteers his time and talents to others. Lending a hand to his classmates and assisting the library media specialist in preparing the computer lab for younger grades. His teachers, past and present, noted his strong work ethic and passion for learning and challenging himself. Christopher shows respect for his peers and his teachers. He is often seen including his classmates in games at recess or working as a leader in group assignments. He makes everyone feel welcomed and valued. This is a well-deserved honor, and we are proud of Christopher. And now we will have representatives from the Walter Fitzgerald campus come up. Oh, you guys got it here for me. Uh, good evening. My name is Amanda Keurig, and I am the principal of the Walter Fitzgerald campus. I am here tonight to celebrate Gianna Michelangelo. Um, Jenna has proven herself to be the epitome of perseverance, tenacity, compassion, resilience, and dedication. Soon after starting WFC, Gianna became very involved in building community and being a role model for others to emulate. She prided herself on her academics and worked diligently until she received straight A's in all of her classes. She set the, bar the bar very high for herself and did whatever it took to reach her goals. While attending a full academic program at WFC, she also became a student intern at Holland Hill School in both the second and third grade classes. The teachers love having her there and see her as an asset to their classes and to enhancing the students' lives. Outside of school, you will see her dedicated to her hostess position at the Chelsea. She might get you a good table. 
Uh, Gianna is most worthy, a most worthy recipient of this superintendent's award. We look forward to seeing what she is going to do next year. Moving on to our high schools, we'll have representatives from Fairfield Ludlow High School come up and present their awards. Good evening, everyone. My name is Greg Hatzis, head principal of Fairfield Ludlow High School. Um, standing in tonight for uh, Mr. Sean Colley, the house principal of Warner House. And uh, Mr. Colley is representing our administrative team at another award ceremony tonight in New Canaan for the, the FCAC Scholar Leader Awards. So we're spreading ourselves thin, but uh, I'm so pleased to be able to present Harper Treshik, our superintendent award winner from Warner House. Over the past four years, Harper has weaved together her inquisitive nature, natural intellect, artistic talents, and compassionate heart, and infused it does, resulting in extraordinary accomplishments. While serving her second year as Key Club President at FLHS, Harper was elected Lieutenant Governor for the New England and Bermuda Key Club District, wherein she served as liaison between 11 key clubs for the, New Engl uh, for the region. For her service in this role, Harper recently won Distinguished Lieutenant Governor, winning out over 19 other Lieutenant Governors across New England. This is only her most on a long list, which includes editor of our decorated school newspaper, a National Merit semifinalist, Harvard College Junior Book Award recipient, textile work displayed at the Eastern States and membership in the Latin, English, Science, and National Honor Societies. Oh, and by the way, Harper is our valedictorian. I buried the lead there, I think. To quote Ms. Trahan, Harper's school counselor, each thought or turn of phrase that comes to mind to describe her almost sounds like it's too good to be true or cliche. But nonetheless, she is, in a word, exceptional. Congratulations, Harper. Good evening, I'm Greg Puglise. I'm the Webster House Principal of Fairfield Ludlow, and I am honored to present the Superintendent's Award for Webster House to Megan Sullivan. Megan is a stellar student, a strong athlete, and a leader. Throughout her time at Ludlow, she has taken every course at the highest level while balancing a rigorous schedule of tennis. As a student was selected for the Hugh O'Brien Seminar, recognizing her leadership and civic action. She became very involved, and through this opportunity, she was chosen to be a junior facilitator of a community, partner, a community leadership workshop. Megan continued her involvement with Hugh O'Brien as a team alumni, coordinating and planning for future seminars. Megan has also spent an, an incredible amount of time working with students and school staff in Nairobi, Kenya. Starting with weekly meetings with students, her involvement grew to include coordinating and fundraising to ensure each student at the school had treats and essential supplies for birthdays. Megan is an officer for the National Honor Society, co-president of the Keystone Club at Wakeman. Megan's high school experiences have culminated with an early acceptance to Wake Forest and her being honored with the prestigious Wakeman Youth of the Year Award. Congratulations, Megan.
Hello, I'm Barry Rabin. I'm the Wright House principal. For those of you who are following the story, he got fourth in SEAC, but running here from Dan Barry is a very different story. So Nate Kramer is unfortunately not with us yet. He might still be here, but I'm going to honor him with a couple of words. Nate Kramer is a gifted student and athlete. He was one of our first students to take AP Physics as a 10th grader, earning an A-plus while also helping his 11th and 12th grade peers. He is not only a CIAC scholar athlete, but he is also an exceptional teammate. Beyond his incredible academic success, which comes from a combination of dedication and talent, and his athletic success from his sense of commitment and drive for excellence, Nate is simply a great person. He is the person you want as your team captain for two years, the one serving at your side through student athletes serving others, and the student in class who brings out the best in everyone. His creativity and his desire to make the world a better place will surely serve him and all of us well in the future as he pursues a future in engineering. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, we'll have the representatives from Fairfield Ward High School come up. And joined by Mr. Kurt Fitz House Principal, and we're going to Samantha Rinzel, Fitz House Superintendent Award winner. Sam has an impressive 4.6 GPA, 10 AP class. She's a proud house actress, singer, and musician. If you ever have the opportunity to see Sam perform in our acapella choir, Really, she is absolutely outstanding. Samantha is the editor of the school newspaper, The Focus, and the president of Best Buddies. She strives to foster a sense of culture, of culture of kindness and inclusivity. Sam has launched a program to support people that are suffering from isolation due to the pandemic by organizing Zoom calls, sending letters, and leading drive-bys. Her efforts has grown into a full-scale community service initiative, partnering with local food banks. Sam serves as a trainer to the ADL, and she works to combat anti-Semitism and prejudice. Of our union, and she serves as a journalist two of our No Place for Hate activities, and her moving. Sam has created her own podcast called Brain Matters, Her Brain Matters, where she explores understanding the world by first finding yourself. If you ever have the opportunity to speak to Sam, you will grow from that experience. She is a true inspiration. Ms. McIntosh, one of her favorite teachers, stated, from the first day Sam walked into my classroom, it was clear that she was a special and unique student. The first day of class, she picked a seat right next to mine, which is highly unusual in high school. <laughs> and she quickly learned that she was uh, very unique. She considers herself a better teacher, mom, and a person for having the opportunity to work with Sam. I asked Sam to reflect on her time at Ward, and she stated, my motivation is born out of my passion to strengthen the community, kindness, creativity, and social justice. At Ward, I pursue clubs, classes, and initiatives that support these dedications. Samantha will be attending Brown University in the fall. Please join me in congratulating her and her family on this wonderful topic.
At this time, I'll be joined by Sneha Sunder and Pequot House Principal Heather O'Brien. Sneha is the superintendent award winner from Pequot House, inquisitive, and an outstanding member of the Fairfield Ward High School community. She's an exceptional student person. She's the president of the Honor Society, a recipient of a certificate of merit from the National Merit Scholarship Program, and has the distinct honor of being our valedictorian. She is also an accomplished and member of the Chamber where she holds the honor of being her mistress or first chair violinist. Snails is um, in all accelerated classes in math and science. She has taken every math course that Fairfield Ward has to offer, taking advanced calculus at the college level. In addition to her prowess, she is involved in our community where she volunteers at McKinley Elementary School and serves as a mentor to first graders. Favorite teachers is a lasting impression. She is kind dedicated, passionate, and genuinely curious, while at the same time being nurturing to her peers. During class, she first to start a Google Meet, she always feels included, passionate, passionate, and outstanding. I reflect on four years of award have been meaningful because of the wonderful community of people I room or student. I really appreciate how the ward and the staff has opened to lift university in the fall where she plans to study on a track. Join me in recognizing Snail Sunday. Congratulations. Mom will appreciate that when she watches back Fair TV that she can hear and see me. So, <laughs> last but not least, I am honored to announce Emma Dorney as the Townsend House Award winner for Superintendent's Award. Round of applause for Emma. <laughs> as I noted, she's a proud member of Townsend House and just awesome. Her positive energy is flat out contagious and she is always willing to go the extra mile in turn to motivate herself and her peers. She's always willing to volunteer to help out on any committee that's needed, provide tours for new students, as well as mentor young athletes and be a good friend to peers. She is currently has a GPA of uh, 4.64 and has participated in several challenging uh, AP classes such as biology, statistics, calculus. Um, French and psychology. In addition to her rigorous schedule during all her free time, Emma uh, is a, um, participates in sports, teams, clubs, and honor societies. For example, she's a member of the National Honor Society, the English, Math, Science, and French National Honor Societies. Furthermore, Emma has been an active contributor to the Appalachian Service Project, and I had the opportunity to see the pictures. It was really cool. What makes Emma participation so unique is her eagerness to recruit other people to participate, 
Emma has always been a very inclusive individual who has a unique awareness of her peers around her and exciting to get them involved in activities at Ward. Mr. Flynn, Emma's social study teacher noted, brilliant, intellectual, curious, highly motivated are the words that best describe her scholastic performance. And I would like to share some evidence of these traits. In a very talented class, Emma was one of my highest achieving students in the top 1% of his career academically. Her hard work is remarkable. She never missed a single assignment and chosen to complete and chose there, a single assignment and has chosen to complete each until she receives 100% correct. And he put quotation marks every single time. And there's truly a renaissance woman who will flourish academically at the university level and be an outstanding member of the school community. I asked Emma to reflect on her time at Ward and she stated, whenever I talk to my friends and families about family about wanting to be a doctor when I'm older, they always are completely astonished by the fact that I'll have to go to school for many more years. But the truth is, although I am only beginning my long journey through the medical field, high school, Fairfield Ward specifically has shown me, shown me that this is extra schooling is not something I should fear, rather it's something I should embrace. I chose to get involved in new activities, take additional classes and try new things at Ward every single time to be part of the community. I love this family that I've jo joined. I chose Ward because every person here has their own story. I could walk into one door to learn Shakespeare, another one to learn trigonometry, and another one to learn French. And even for those who still are struggling to find their perfect story, Ward is the perfect place to start writing. Emma will be attending a Loyola University, Maryland in the fall on a pre-med track and steps to being a neurologist. Please join me in extending the warmest congratulations for the superintendent award winner. Okay, moving right along in the program. The next set of awards are the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education Awards. The CAVE Student Leadership Award recognizes two students from each middle and high school who exhibit exemplary leadership skills and also meet the following criteria. Willingness to take on challenges. Capability to make difficult decisions. Concern for others. Willingness to commit to a project. Diplomacy. Ability to understand issues clearly and ability to honor a commitment. Let's begin with the awardees from Fairfield Woods Middle School. Hello again. Uh, our first CAVE Award winner from Fairfield Woods Middle School is Olivia Farrell. As a student F at FWMS, Olivia stands out in all the right ways, making her a natural choice for the CAVE Award. Olivia demonstrates a commitment to constant improvement and is an excellent and encouraging role model for those around her. As a member of both the Fairfield Woods Chorus and Orchestra Ensembles, Olivia has a natural musical talent, even extending to playing the ukulele and recently teaching herself to play the keyboard and the guitar. Her artistic talent is also on full display in more dramatic pursuits, as demonstrated in multiple dramatic productions at Woods over the last three years. Olivia also tackles new challenges in her athletic pursuits as part of the Fairfield Woods basketball team, as well as on her travel team. She exemplifies heart and diligence in her academic and artistic pursuits, and we are so proud to have Olivia as a member of the Fairfield Woods community. Congratulations. 
Uh, second, but not second best, I'd like to introduce Kyle Hyos. Kyle is a perfect choice for the Cave Award, not only because of his kind, inclusive, and conscientious nature, but because he is a leader among his peers, setting an example for others to follow. Kyle thrives on thoughtful decision-making, and he takes pride in his work, his conduct, and his character. He is a student who has taken full advantage of the Unified Arts offerings at Woods, naming all of them as his favorites. Kyle is an athlete, contributing to our school community as a member of our basketball team. As a Woods buddy, he draws upon his own experience as a sixth grader to guide our newest students to success. Outside of school, Kyle enjoys all types of martial arts, fishing, and looking for ways to serve others who are less fortunate. We are so proud to have Kyle as a member of our school community at Fairfield Woods. Just read from my smaller font. Just making sure they're ready. <laughs> Roger Ludlow uh, Middle School is honored to present Alexandra Lockwood with the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education Leadership Award. Lexi's empathy and positive spirit is contagious with all who have the pri privilege of knowing her. This spirit is evident in the school and community through volunteer work and our school library and community service with Al's Angels during the holidays. Lexi is also a talented athlete playing volleyball and taekwondo, so look out. Uh, when asked to reflect on her greatest strength, she said, my greatest strength is making new friends, making new friends with kindness, happiness, and acceptance, and that is so true of Lexi. Congratulations, Lexi Lockwood. Once again, on behalf of Roger Ludlow Middle School, Ms. Harder and myself, Roger Ludlow Middle School is honored to present Haley Nearman with the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education Leadership Award. Throughout her three years at RLMS, Haley's compassion and care for others has shined bright. She is empathetic and supportive of both peers and adults. She is a loyal and trusted friend and student. As a result, she was chosen by her teachers to mentor students in our younger grades through our SAT character education program. Haley is also a talented singer, and in our chamber choir in the, in the community, you may see her volunteering with the Torch Club at the Wakeman Boys and Girls Club, as well as activities through her church, St. Anthony's. 
finally, Haley is a gifted athlete in soccer, lacrosse, and tennis. She is a leader in the classroom and enriches our school climate. Congratulations, Haley. Good evening. I'd like to congratulate Baden Thacker for our CABE Award, our first CABE Award winner. We are proud to present Baden with this award. He has demonstrated a willingness to take on challenges, make difficult decisions, show concern for others, has great diplomatic skills, and has the ability to understand issues clearly and honors his commitments. Baden has risen from Cub Scout to Boy Scout and will continue to work on earning the rank of Eagle Scout through high school. As a member of the Odyssey of the Mind team at TMS, woo, Aiden will be traveling to Iowa tomorrow for the world competition. Baden is also a cello player, simultaneously participating in Honors Orchestra, the TMS Orchestra, and Chamber Orchestra. Baden rises to every classroom challenge, asking as many questions as he answers and completely engaging with his peers, no matter what group he is in. Congratulations, Baden. I have to say I'm very pleased to, to speak on behalf of, of Anya Hanahan. In her time at Tomlinson, Anya has developed a passion for excelling in her academics and earning a flawless transcript in her three years. She is musically inclined as well, captivating audiences in chamber choir, orchestra, and her role as Fiona, one of the leads in the Tomlinson production of Shrek Jr. this year. I Think I Got You Beat was our favorite song. <laughs> Anya has shown her strong, positive peer influence outside of the classroom in our leadership club, as well as being an active participant in our unified sports program, where she enjoys supporting and spending time with her fellow classmates. Anya is a remarkable young woman and Tomlinson is honored to present her with the CABE Award as a recognition of our overwhelming pride in who she has become, and we wish her the best of luck in her in future endeavors. Congratulations. Can I give you a hug? Good evening again. Greg Hatzis, head principal of Fairfield Level High School. To introduce to you our CABE Award winners. First, proud to introduce Lauren G. 
As a salutatorian of the class of 2022 and recipient of the National Merit Scholar Award, Lauren's academic record might imply that she spends all her time studying for her numerous AP courses. But that can't be further from the truth. Lauren is the founder, host, and producer of a podcast called STEM Powering Conversations, which highlights the accomplishments and pathways of STEM professionals, including a Nobel laureate, achieving more than 14,000 downloads in 52 countries. Lauren was semifinalist in the National U.S. Chemistry Olympiad last year and was nominated to the All Western Region Orchestra Festival for the last four years. Lauren exhibits leadership through being the president of the Mu Alpha Theta, or National Math Honor Society, the Orchestra Club, and the Chemistry Club, and has been the features editor for the FLHS student newspaper, The Prospect. Lauren is also deeply committed to sustainability, R having written an article of the Yale, to the Yale Daily News on Fairfield's efforts and even invented an odor-free compost machine. Maybe Lauren can actually kick back and relax a little when she gets to college next year. Great job, Lauren. Next, we'd like to introduce Beatrice, or Bea Rogers. Bea is one of Fairfield Lothar's most empathetic and enthusiastic leaders. While overcoming challenges most of her peers have never faced, Bea still identifies her top priority as helping others. She once wrote, it is important to me that everyone finds something to love and be excited about. Bea is the personification of this modeling leadership through her positions as president of the Model UN Club, the vice president of the Food Insecurity for Food Insecurity for the Connecticut Students Cooperative, longevity executive for the Fairfield Equity Coalition, and volunteer organizer for Merkaz Mobile Mitzvah, which brought joy and support to senior citizens in her community during the pandemic quarantine. What you may notice about each of these organizations is that they are all service related, making sure that others are cared for and have a voice. Bia shows us all what a growth mindset is all about, embracing and learning from new challenges and never giving up. And she was an amazing host at our Battle of the Houses just last week. Bia, congratulations. Thank you. I am proud to recognize Allison Burt as Fairfield Ward High School's CABE Award winner, and she's accompanied by Mr. Simonson, Fitz House Principal. Allison is hardworking, committed, and optimistic person who balances her academic achievement with athletics and volunteerism. 
She's a proud member of Fitz House and a committed member of the cross country and track team. For example, last June, she raced the Fairfield Faxon Law, High Faxon Law Mar Half Marathon and came in first for women ages 19 and under. Allison is a born leader and has garden respect from her teammates by cultivating and empowering younger athletes to reach their full potential. Allison is articulate, compassionate, and committed student who thrives when helping others while simultaneously working diligently to achieve her own academic success. She has a strong sense of self, is reflective, and is a goal-oriented person. Allison is happiest when she is taking on challenges and working to benefit others. She passionately be believes in supporting her community, and when she sees an issue, she gets involved to fix it. When I asked her why, she simply stated, if not me, then who? Allison is civic-minded and a member of the Fairfield Democratic Party, where she has volunteered an array of local candidates. She has a long history of volunteerism at Bishop Jean Williams Food Pantry in Bridgeport, where she helps families in need. One of Allison's favorite teachers, Mr. Foster and coach, noted, I've had the opportunity to work with Allie Burt for 12 straight seasons of distance running and in the classroom as a member of the AP Environmental Science class. Allie possesses a work ethic that rivals any individual I have worked with in my 18-year career. Though many varsity awards she's earned, specifically a scholar athlete recognition bestowed on her and the all FCAC running certificate in cross country, Allie has always been able to set and reset the bar for success. That being said, nothing is more impressive than her compassion for others and her willingness to remain open to new experiences. Allie can be found cheering her teammates as well as cheering for and picking them up when they might need it the most. I've had the pleasure personally of working with Allie in a number of school initiatives and I found her to be an outstanding member of our school community and she truly represents the WARD acronym. On a personal note, Allie stated, I'm inspired each day by my parents who work so hard as an ECC paraeducator and a sole proprietor respectively. I am also so grateful to have older siblings who have taught me how to navigate high school and soon college and have helped me through various social and emotional aspects um, and endeavors. Finally, I must mention my grandmother who I, who I truly inspire to be. At 75 year, years old, she still lobbies for legislation and attends peaceful protests in her walker. <laughs> Allie will be attending American University in the fall where she plans to study sociology with a minor in legal studies. Please join me in congratulating her <laughs> on this wonderful achievement. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to invite Cooper Dion and Mr. Feckety from Townsend House to come up to the front. And I'm sorry I missed Mr. Feckety last time. I want to acknowledge him as our Townsend House principal. <laughs> the batteries threw me off a little bit. Cooper is a proud member of Townsend House, an outstanding individual who's a member of our lacrosse team and band. He, he is a short stick defensive midfielder and an altone saxophonist. That's a mouthful. Cooper often described by others as a true helper. He always looking for ways to give back to his school and local community. Specifically, he volunteers for Operation Hope as a kitchen volunteer helping with food drives. Cooper has taken a rigorous caseload filled with AP and honors classes, specifically in math and science. 
Cooper received the St. Michael's College Junior Book Award for Academic Achievement and the President's Volunteer Award. One of Cooper's favorite teacher, Mr. Shinazu, noted, Cooper is one of those students that every teacher dreams of having in their classroom. He is intelligent and diligent, and he only, is only surprised by his kindness and compassion. I have had the pleasure to see Cooper in three different areas while at Ward, in my homeroom, multivariable calculus, and as an intern when I was the principal of the Summer Boost program. In all three avenues, Cooper has proven himself to be a gentleman in every sense of the word. He has always been a tremendous problem solver in calculus and earn an A average, and he has an abundance of patience while working with elementary school students. If anyone deserves all the accolade that life has to offer, it is Cooper. I asked Cooper to reflect on his experience at Ward, and he stated, the best thing about Ward are the people and experiences. I've had the opportunity to have Mr. Shinazu, Mrs. Shannon, Mr. Flynn, and Mrs. Walker, who's always supported me and had my back. They always advocated for me and pushed me to do better. Every class I enter in Ward, I always know that I have a friend and will have a good time. Cooper will be attending Fordham University in the fall, and he plans to study finance. Please join me in giving him a round of applause for this recognition. Recognition. Cooper. Well, that concludes this evening's celebration. Before I um, send you all on your merry way, I would first like to thank Dr. Parrish for um, filling in for Superintendent Cummings tonight. And I would also like to wish you a happy birthday. So thank, thank you. you for spending your birthday with us. Thank you. I would like to thank my fellow board members, Jen Max Canelli, Christy Kelly, Carol Guernsey, Jen Max and, um, Jennifer Jacobson, Nick Asa, Jeff Peterson, Jessica Gerber, and Bina Rotelli for joining me tonight um, and you tonight. So thank you, everybody. And last but not least, I would like to um, thank Meg Brown, the executive assistant to the superintendent, who was responsible for all of this planning. And we, she managed it single-handedly almost every single year. So appreciative for all of her hard work on this, for making this special event happen. So thank you, Meg. Meg, stand up. Of, on behalf of the Board of Education, <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Dr. Parrish. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Thank you. On behalf of the Board of Education and really our entire community, I congratulate everybody in this room again. Thank you to our staff and our teachers for all your hard work. Thank you to your parents for supor supporting your students for, for all that you do. And um, congratulations, congratulations again to all the students. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Dr. Parrish for the last goodbye. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for, for those celebratory remarks and the flowers and the well wishes. Again, on behalf of Superintendent Cummings, I congratulate all of our winners tonight and their families on the accomplishments that you have already achieved, and I know that the best is yet to come. So from all of the staff in Fairfield Public Schools and all of our members of the Board of Education, I congratulate you and thank you all for all of your support throughout the course of the year. Thank you and have a wonderful evening.